All right, good day of work. Uh, you know, some good prep for, for Stanford this week, Red Area third down day. Uh, still, uh, continue want to make that a focus for us as we work to improve, but uh, ready to go play a good opponent. Hunting competition so far this week. Um, it's been good. Uh, it's good for our team. You know, compete at every position, but uh, continue to evaluate. And, you know, see what fits best for us on game day. EJ Smith's not going to be able to play the rest of the year for them at running back. Philkins is the backup, and I assume he's going to replace him. Just your thoughts on how things that changes their offense? Yeah, I mean, uh, both good players, right? EJ's a really good player. You hate to see that for a team when they lose a guy. Uh, that being said, I think you know. He's had a lot of experience, so it's not like a huge uh, change for them. And and this hasn't been something that's really new. We, he's been out a little bit the last few weeks. He also beat down a couple of offensive tackles, just obviously preparing for him regardless. But when it gets close to game times, I just change some of the finer points and kind of focus on what it could be different guys. It, it can change some all minute details. It doesn't change. It's not a wholesale change. How has the offense performed in those, those red zone opportunities? Um, they've done good uh, today. I think the offense won a series, defense won a series down there, so it's kind of gone back and forth. Um, continue to build off of it and work it in practice. Did you miss the rain? Yeah, <laughs> love it, love it, love it. I'm enjoying it. I, you know, uh, we, we talked to the team today about the difference in Rocky One and Rocky Three. Right, Rocky Three's training with all the lights. You know, it's got all the the uh, extra attention and the details, right? And we all know what happened in Rocky IV. He had to go to Russia to get his mind right, right? He had to go train in the woods. So we want to train in the elements. We want to do it the long, hard way, right? Drink eggs, right? The whole nine yards. That's what we want. I know you're a movie buff. Is there a lot of movie references in your pre-practice stuff like that? Is that a frequent thing? From time to time, from time to time, right? This week's really about details. We, we uh, talked a little bit about the equalizer earlier this week. Um, you know, and focusing on the minute details. So and when it fits, it fits. You can see Carson out there today. Is that uh, class conflict? Uh, now the class is underway. Yeah, just some. He's actually missed a couple before because of class stuff, but he's good. Luke did get a couple of opportunities, though. He's had a mm -hmm. chance, yeah, Luke's had some game opportunities yeah. too this year. So yeah, he's done a good job. First time in a while that your athletes will have to balance being uh, students and athletes. How have you kind of prepared them um, for this week, having to take on classes, also training for a big week, playing at home in front of students? What has your advice kind of been to them uh, just to kind of get through this week to stay focused on the game this weekend? Keep the main thing the main thing, and then we check classes, right? So it's fun to make sure guys are on time and guys uh, are doing what they're supposed to do. You know, it's the reason we all came here. Right, is to get that degree. Obviously, you want to be successful on the football field, but uh, it's, it's a big part of being a student athlete is, is achieving in the classroom. What, what impressed you most with Cameron McKee, Stanford's quarterback? You know, I think he understands their system really well. They're, they do some stuff that requires quarterback reads, right, that's going to be him making decisions based on box count and stuff like that, and he does a good job making decisions there. Um, you know, he's a true pocket passer, you know, and does a good job delivering it. In general, we you say not, per not predictive of outcome damn by way pass rush, but they talked about how they posting offense previously got the ball perimeter fast, we got the ball fast. This is more of a prototypical, a little bit longer time in the pocket style of offense. It can be, yeah, for sure. I think we have to prepare ourselves for what's been, you know, what's hurt us all season, right? And what I call copycat teams, teams that are going to do the same thing that's hurt you earlier. So we can't just live on the, on the, um, thought process of they're only going to do the things they've done on film so far. They could also look at our film and try to attack us in certain ways. But definitely think um, they will hold the ball at times a little bit longer. It doesn't mean they'll do it the entire game on Saturday. To that point, this is the, I'm saying like it's a time of year after three, four games where people start to pick up tendencies, player performance tendencies, those sorts of things, the area of the field. How confident are you guys on both sides, particularly on offense? that you're going to have answers for the counters, that it turned into the tight ends a lot in the red zone is so far a characteristic that you'll have an answer for when defenses take that away, and, and vice versa, you'll have an answer. Yeah, we, we've kind of built, we, we self scout ourselves pretty close throughout the season, so we've kind of built that as the season goes. If we've shown this look out of a certain formation, be able to build off of it, but always have to have answers. It also means, like, good teams have tendencies, right? If you're a really good team, you have a tendency, right? So we want to be a team that has tendencies at times um, and able to build off of them and, and know them. Do you see much of the, that their slow mesh stuff? Is that like, have we of, seen it this season? It just in, in your career, and kind of what makes that an attractive option for an offense? Uh, it just goes back to what I talked about as far as a box count play. You know, when you start playing split safety defense, two eye defense, a lot of times you have to count on one of those those players to be in the run fit, right? And when you can run the slow mesh, right, you have to make a decision: is this guy going to show up or not? Um, and then be able to play off of that. So I, I haven't uh, played against it uh, a lot. 
Um, it's really similar to the RPO world, right? Just a little bit further down the field. All right, thanks coach. Appreciate it.